right. This is going to be one of a few videos where we talk about a few things to think about before you buy a tow truck or think about buying a tow truck. Um, my name is Matt. I've been towing for 15 years. I started with a $1,800 tow truck, two-wheel drive Chevy, um, a well-used unit from a tow company. I think I heard stories about from everybody who ever towed that drove that truck. Um, I now have a couple trucks, a couple drivers, um, a couple, I have two flatbeds, three wreckers, light duty, medium duty, heavy duty. I'm just kind of stepping into the heavy duty market now. Um, I'm also kind of looking into some auto transport, which is a whole different kind of ball game that I'm learning now. Um, we'll probably walk through that with these videos as I get more and more into the auto transport. Anyways, I'm going to start with a couple things. Um, biggest thing to start, what kind of towing are you going to be doing? Are you going to be doing a emergency towing, police response, a very time sensitive having to drop what you're doing kind of towing um, that is a different ball game from like what your private property is like what you see on TV with like South Beach tow and running around checking permits stuff like that that's kind of almost on your own time obviously you might get calls to that and have to go but it's not the same game as just emergency towing maybe you're gonna do both um, dealer and auction towing just moving cars around, trade-in, stuff like that to local dealerships back and forth. It's also a non-kind of stressful job. You can make your hours. You kind of know what you're going to be doing from week to week or even longer. Um, that's a different kind of towing than what I do. I don't really do a whole lot of that. Um, we do some breakdown stuff and bring stuff to dealers, but we're not linked up to a dealer. Um, and then the auto transport, which is basically some long haul stuff. Um, some of the New England stuff here we do is considered a tow. I wouldn't consider it auto transport. If I'm going a couple hours away, that's not in my book a transport. Although, if you can get someone to move a car and you got all sorts of time, you could probably save a lot of money on an auto transport versus a tow truck. Um, anyways, as far as that goes, this is going to determine what kind of trucks you may or may not need, what kind of lifestyle you're going to have, um, as far as that goes. Um, the biggest hurdle and thing that I learned quickly was zoning. Um, before you buy a truck, think about where you're going to park it. Um, are you going to be an emergency teller going in and out in the middle of the night? Are you going to affect your neighbors? Um, car and truck storage, you can't just start piling cars up everywhere, your neighbors might not like it. Um, as far as that goes, really check your zoning so that if you do have any problems, you already know where you're staying and you're not learning after you've just spent whatever it is you spent. If you bought a $5,000 tow truck or you went and bought a brand new $120,000 tow truck, you don't want to be stuck wondering how you're going to work or if you're allowed to work or if you're going to be fined every day for having that truck in your yard. Um, the, the car storage, truck storage, if you're dealing with car accidents or impounding it all for private properties, you're going to have to deal with probably storage in these two areas and here if you're doing larger loads. Um, I'm not looking to do larger loads. I am more hot shot projects, you know, some of the more pressing jobs. Um, I'm not looking to load a nine car, spend the time on load boards, any of that stuff. Um, anyways, moving on. Biggest, biggest thing to think about is yep. your neighbors. You want to be a good neighbor. You don't want your neighbor, whether you're zoned or not zoned, People get away with things everywhere. Some places don't care what you do, but keep your neighbors happy. If you can help them out, help, you know, let them see a benefit to you being there. 
especially if you're getting up at 3 in the morning starting your truck up to go get an accident or a DWI or something like that. You don't want to be upset at your neighbors. That's the biggest thing. You're going to end up with hassles because of that. Um, just keep them happy. Um, I'm going to pause this video and start all over this board and we'll get back to the video.